In a quiet residential area in Ampang Jaya lies new Hyongki restaurant. This is where Beggar's Chicken, the restaurant's specialty for 44 years, has been cooked the traditional Chinese way using hot clay and charcoal. In the kitchen, Phyllis Ng is hard at work preparing a whole chicken. She is a second generation owner of the business that her father, Ng Beng Kiat, started in 1978. Baggage chicken famous in my shop yeah. is because uh, people may like the way we cook, the traditional way. People like the traditional way. Yeah, because it's not used the gas to bake it or use the stove to cook it. Uh, we actually use the mud and the charcoal to bake it for six hours. Phyllis demonstrates how to prepare Beggar's Chicken. First, she stuffs a free-range or kampong chicken with an assortment of Chinese herbs. Next, the chicken is marinated in a mixture of dark soy sauce and sesame oil. Then comes the intricate wrapping process. The chicken is first wrapped with two layers of butter paper, two layers of brown paper, and finally, a single sheet of heat-resistant plastic before everything is tied up tight with raffia string. Once this is done, Beng Kiat expertly covers the wrapped chicken in clay. It is now ready for the slow cooking process. I put the herbs, right? The herbs and then cover with the mud. Okay, the, actually the taste are ah, all inside the chicken ready. Like you steam, if you steam, the steam, ah, the, the, the smoke, the water, yep. all the taste actually will go out. The taste is so much different. Benkiet gently deposits the parcel into a 20 cm depression in the hot charcoal, quickly shoveling heaps of ash over the clay encased bird as he expertly dodges the flying red hot embers. A fan is used to regulate the heat during the next six hours of cooking. One is really the, the chicken ensigns ah, all cover, it all come out from the chicken ensigns come out. When you steam it, all the water might go inside the chicken. Then the sauce got more. The taste is more light. Once fully cooked, Beng Kiat uses a shovel to retrieve the piping hot parcel before placing it in a wheelbarrow and transporting it immediately to the kitchen for the great reveal. There are two ways to crack open the clay. You can either use a hammer or go at it Jackie Chan style using your bare hands, says Phyllis. When I was young, because my father do it, then we follow, do, use the hand. I, we, when we young, right, we don't know, we just see and do. <laughs> then last time we don't know, why do one use the hammer? Now the, now the time they only use the hammer. <laughs> yeah, it's hot, it's hot, it's very hot. Although the process of cooking chicken with clay and charcoal is time consuming, it is still the best method to preserve the taste and aroma of the chicken. Before the pandemic, 80% of Phyllis's customers were made up of visiting Singaporeans. And while she would love having customers dine at her restaurant, takeaways and deliveries are the preferred choices for this Chinese New Year for safety reasons. My message is Happy Chinese New Year, everybody. Stay safe and stay healthy.